everyone, I'm Sean uh, and you're watching Salt, my YouTube channel all about sports and interesting topics. And uh, today the topic is going to be complementary to sport. It's going to be food in uh, uh, the declination of cheese or rather in the form of cheese. I'm here with uh, different delegations of uh, ONAF, the National Association of Cheese Tasters. So uh, we're going to visit... Uh, this uh, dairy called uh, Savoia uh, and the owner of the dairy is Francesco Savoia who is uh, also a friend. The strain of uh, cows is the Pezzata Rossa so it's uh, uh, basically a red, white and uh, brown cow. This part of uh, the visit uh, was uh, all about uh, making uh, fior di latte so we saw the curdled uh, milk uh, reach uh, the right point of uh, acidity that uh, makes it pliable and uh, kind of soft. Then uh, it was uh, shredded in bits and uh, it was put in uh, hot water and whey. And at that point uh, it was uh, then shaped into a paste and uh, finally scrunched up in the famous uh, balls uh, with the process of chopping it in balls mozzarella to create mozzarella o fior di latte. Quindi è tutto bilanciato. Anche la temperatura. No, va bene, va bene. Questo è giusto. Perdona, l'acqua di... Ok. Si attiva sull'aspetto igienico sanitario e l'utilizzo meno della plastica. Fughi molto approfonditi, molto seri, condotti da eh, veterinari dell'ASL con esperienza, quindi probabilmente le persone più titolate a parlare di questo argomento, hanno chiarito che è preferibile, anzi, vanno utilizzate sì. le mani nude. La plastica invece cede, cede i polimeri ed è preso. Questi qua sono i bocconcini per due, vedete? Sempre più sulla manuale. Questa qua è esperienza pura, qua non c'è talento, c'è una predisposizione per questo lavoro, non tutti lo possono fare. We finally saw how mozzarella is made, so stage one is to curdle the milk with uh, the addition of uh, rennet and uh, heating uh, the milk uh, around 30 degrees Celsius. Once uh, the milk is curdled, then the curdled milk is cut in strips and the strips are put uh, in a container, one on top of the other, after which uh, they are shredded. Then finally there's uh, the addition of a mix of hot water, whey, coming out of the curdled milk and uh, salt. There's uh, around 900 grams of salt for every 18 uh, liters of water. By adding uh, hot water to the curdled milk, uh, it then becomes a paste and uh, the paste is uh, slowly wound or spun. And finally, it's uh, scrunched up into large balls small balls of mozzarella or even braided into trecce. Trecce means braid in Italian. The most important uh, part is uh, letting uh, the curdled milk mature and uh, slowly become uh, acidic and this is done uh, by letting it rest. Some people have it rest under whey which is uh, a natural accelerator of a process. When the curdled milk is sufficiently acid, it becomes pliable. Here Francesco is showing us his cacciotta stracchinata and uh, in a minute we're going to move on to panaccio, which is a firmer and taller cheese. And uh, the next one is a toma. This is a name originally used in Piedmont. Whereas uh, the next cheeses uh, are going to be 
uh, cheeses with uh, red pepper and with saffron in them. Now we're looking at Francesco's Cacio Cavalli. Cacio Cavallo means that two cheeses are straddled on a pole for support as if they were riding a Cavallo, which means horse in Italian. We've moved to a different room. This room features a natural rock wall that gives dampness to it. So this is arguably the most important part of the dairy, the food source of the animals. These animals eat uh, hay, made with uh, different plants and uh, Francesco was keen to explain that uh, a uh, cheese uh, that is uh, aged should be yellow or at least the paste inside uh, should be yellow reflecting the beta carotene contained in uh, the hay that the animals eat. The animals uh, can move in and out the stall as they like and uh, they also sleep on straw because the straw is the best uh, thermal insulator that Francesco could find and nature produces to keep their tummy warm at night. What we are tasting is ricotta, mozzarella, cacciotta stracchinata and panaccio. We tasted uh, uh, Francesco's ricotta which has an addition of milk to it and now we're gonna taste the bocconcino of a mouthful of mozzarella and the texture is uh, very firm and compact because it has literally just been made an hour ago I'm with uh, a beautiful girl called Trini and uh, she's American and she came uh, around for the tasting because uh, some friends told her about her. So what's your favorite ch cheese right now? Right now it's the hangman's cheese. Thank you so much. <laughs> we are the last lone survivors of a cheese tasting and uh, we're still eating cheese and drinking wine. We hope you enjoyed the video. With this we're saying goodbye, subscribe to the channel if you liked it, see you next time.